All right, thanks, Carly. As a fight to save the Western monarch butterfly from extinction, the Oregon Zoo hosting a live Q&A session today. The session will feature Senator Jeff Merkley and also an expert on pollination. It will be hosted by Bob Lee, the Oregon Zoo's general curator, and he joins us live now on AM Extra. Good morning, Bob. Good morning, Jenny. Ken, how are you? Doing just great. Uh, let's talk about the monarch butterfly and why it's so important to our environment. Well, the monarch butterfly and other pollinators play a tremendous role in our environment. You know, a lot of folks don't realize that one in three bites of food that we eat every day are a result of animal assisted pollinators. So the monarch butterfly and these other animals really have uh, uh, play a major role, not only in, in our health and wellness, but in the health and wellness of our ecosystems. Okay. So, Oh, no, I'm sorry. I was to ask you, so what are the threats then facing the monarch butterfly? Well, the largest threat is from climate change uh, and pesticides. So uh, as we're seeing our environment change around us, you can imagine these small animals that are so dependent on the environment that they're the first ones that are going to be impacted by it. And we're already seeing that there's a 99.9% .9 decline in the Western monarch butterfly population. So it's a staggering number when we think about how many of these animals have already been impacted. So how can we save this iconic pollinator? What can we do? You know, there's, there's, a, there's many things we can do. You know, the fight against climate change that we're all participating in is a huge one. Uh, monitoring what kind of pesticides we use and reducing the use of those. But then some of the actions you can take in your own backyard is creating little micro environments for these guys. Uh, on the Xerces Society webpage, there are PDFs that show you what natural plants you can put in that will actually create microhabitats for these animals so that they can pass through and they can pollinate in your area. So no matter where you are in the country, there are different uh, native species that you can put in that would help the populations of these important animals. Mm. And, and we hear that uh, Senator Jeff Merkley also involved in this fight to, to help save the monarch butterfly. What is he doing? Well, Senator Murphy has actually introduced bipartisan legislation that would help protect the habitats of monarchs and other pollinators. And, you know, again, this is so important for our farmers and our ag industry and the food supply we depend on. So he's doing a tremendous job working on both sides of the aisle to create uh, habitats and environments that will keep these animals surviving for future generations. Well, Bob, when is the live stream and how can people watch? Well, you can check us out on the Oregon Zoo Facebook page, Senator Berkeley's Facebook page, or the Xerces Society Facebook page, and that's going to be today at 1.30 Pacific time. So we hope everybody will join us. All right. Sounds good. Well, Bob Lee, Oregon Zoo General Curator, thanks for joining us this morning and shedding light on this topic that probably a lot of people don't know a lot about. Jenny and Ken, we really appreciate you having the time with us today. Thank you. All right. Thanks again. Uh, we will have a link to the live stream and everything you need to know about the Q&A session on coin.com. All right, we're following some breaking news right now.